friends how's it going you guys I'm exhausted I normally do these videos early in the day but my schedule has been jam-packed that it is uh, 8 30 at night Friday night the market is tomorrow and I'm about to start um, and I'm about to start putting price tags and wrapping things and packing them for tomorrow's market and uh, there's no way that I could do that without doing this video where I show you guys everything that I made that I'll be taking over to tomorrow's market now this is the eighth market that I have done in nine weeks and let me tell you guys I'm tired but I'm loving it so uh, let's go ahead and go through the items that I did manage to get done this week I'm gonna go through this quickly because I want to go ahead and load my car before it's 10 o'clock so that I can get in bed early because I have to be at the market by 7 a.m. okay so the first thing is this beautiful giant uh, previously was a glass bottle and now it is painted and distressed I did the black underneath and then the white and I brought out some of those details using 120 grit sanding paper now next I have this glass jar that was in my stash everything that I transformed this week is stuff that I already had in the stash you guys remember I'm still on a challenge to not go thrifting until I go through my stash well it's been almost four months now I still haven't had to go shopping so yeah I really needed to do this so this was also in the stash glass jar with these details just uh, black underneath white on top sand it put some full rosemary from Walmart Next we have this little mason jar that got the same treatment. I like to do the batch method as you guys know. If you do want to know more about the batch method, I will link the video in the description below where I did that process so you can see how I get things done timely. So cute little mason jar with some full road. Next I had this candle stand. Now I didn't do anything to this. It was already like this so I just cleaned it up. I found this little knob from uh, Hobby Lobby and then I attached this jar and I just drilled a hole in this and I attached it and so now it is a nice jar on a stand. <laughs> I like how this turned out. Um, so I am trying out uh, the IOD molds. You guys know anytime I'm trying something new I like to start small. So just to play around with it I made this mold. Uh, sure lighting is bad because it's nighttime okay so I made this mold out of the clay uh, IOD clay I used the IOD mold and then I painted them gold and I attached them on this frame that was given to me by one of my get this I had a customer who came to my market I think my very first time and after she left she subscribed to my channel and she reached out to me and told me she had a lot of items for me to take and put to good use and this frame was in the stash that she gave me her name is miss rita we love her i say we me and preston <laughs> so i painted the the inside part of it green the same green that you see in everything back here and i left the rest of the frame as it was and then there was another frame here so for this one i just painted the back of it white originally there was a drawing and so i just left the drawing painted over it and then i decoupaged uh a portion of a Bible page from the book of Mark so next I have more of those IOD molds I did some little leaves and I attached them to these vessels they were just uh, vessels I thrifted everything was in my stash except for the new greenery the florals these are real dried florals from the Dollar Tree I was really impressed with these I usually don't care for the florals at the dollar store but this time I really like these um, little dried flowers and I think they look great in these vases together and I'm gonna stage these next to each other so I am also starting to throw in a little fall I'll be honest with you guys I don't care for the traditional fall colors so I'm really having to think outside the box to come up with fall so I hope I'll be able to nail it um, so I painted this mason jar um, so this week I did a thing where I grabbed a box and everything in the box got done. So this was in there, it got painted, and I'm going to stage it on this basket that I painted white. 
And then I have some greenery in this faux pair. I thought it looks really great together on here. So I'm gonna stage these like this in my booth. Maybe I put some greenery. We uh, okay, so I really, really like this. Uh, so it's just a little basket, you know, those uh, straw baskets that have the wire bottom. It was brown, and so I painted it, spray painted it white, and then I attached some uh, a portion of a garland inside it using some zip ties, as you can see. And I really like how this turned out. Uh, it can be hang on the wall this way or this way, or it can be set down and then place a candle inside because there is space here for a candle. So I thought this was a really cool idea. And then next I had this already pre-made sign. It said, hello spring. This was from maybe two years ago. I painted over the hello spring and I decoupaged uh, a page from the book of Mark. It's the entire chapter 13. You guys, anything that I do with Bible pages sells really well for me. Uh, and also it is a wonderful opportunity for me to connect uh, with a lot of my customers and I enjoy sharing my journey from Islam to Christianity. So anything with Bible pages does well. So you will see a lot of it. Um, and so, yeah, I like how this turned out. Very simple and very quick. Okay, next we have this, uh, what do you call this? The stand, this riser. Now this has been in the booth for a while now. Originally when I bought it, it was like a brown, dingy brown and I painted it white with the black underneath. Uh, but for some reason it really hasn't stood out because it still hasn't sold. So this week I tried the green paint and then I did some white wax on it. And I'm hoping that this will make it stand out a little more because the greens have been selling really well for me. I know some of you are saying greens are not doing too well, but for some reason they've been working for me and I'm really happy about that because green is my favorite color. So. I also painted this little bird. Now, I put some plaster of Paris in the paint to make it stick on this little bird. And then this thing here, this was uh, a heart-shaped basket, I guess you can call it. I have four of these. So I painted this white, I turned it to the side, I put some florals inside to bring in some of the fall and then I put a bird's nest now this uh, is from a haul that I did several months back where I found a collection of uh, place holders place card holders but they were Easter they were for Easter and so they had the eggs in them they were golden eggs from Pier 1 no Pottery Barn I'm sorry they're from Pottery Barn and so I took out the little stick that holds the name card and I painted these eggs white and I stuck the whole nest in here and I think it turned out really cute and I think it would be really pretty on the shelf with this little bird next to it so I'm gonna stitch them close together oh you guys pray for me I am so tired I know I probably look a mess I'm trying so hard to give you the best of me um, so next we have another basket like the other one and uh, same technique I spray painted it white sealed it and then for this one I attached an actual wreath that I picked up from Joanne's fabric and it was on sale it's originally $12.99 that particular day all of these were 75% off so I picked up several of these and I'll be using them for many future projects but I love how this turned out as well okay so moving on with the decoupage uh, this week I decoupaged this little vase uh, and I put some jute twine around it because it was really hard to get the perfect finish on this bottleneck so I just covered it up with some jute uh, this is removable I'm just putting it in here to stage it now this is the decoupage pepper that I use so often that you guys really like especially when I do my little wooden houses and then next I have this mason jar that got decoupaged with that napkin with the birds uh, you guys have also seen these birds because I use these napkins also to do book stacks and they sell really well. Remember this week I grabbed the box, anything in the box got done. So that's why I have these random messengers. Next I have these beautiful wooden candle stands, so originally just regular wood and I did the black underneath and I brought some of that back by distressing. I did just pick up some uh, some candles from Hobby Lobby that I will use to stage inside these. 
but I really like this color um, I like how simple it is and guess what guys it is called greener pastures is also the color that will be gracing my dining room tomorrow my contract is coming over to paint my dining room speaking of very soon I'm gonna be sharing the process with you guys on how I'm transforming my formal dining room we've been in our house for one year now and the projects have piled up so I'm getting some help sticking to the candle stands uh, these were candle stands that I painted and I attached some wooden rounds and I know I could have just left them alone but there were tea light holders and you know I really find that tea lights are useless I mean I don't know I just I don't care for tea lights so I covered up the best with some wood rounds from Hobby Lobby and now this way somewhere I can put a real candle on it and I like the combination of the wood and the grain and then I have this cutting board that I thrifted as well and I just painted it white um, now I did the first coat of paint on here and it wasn't sticking so I sanded everything off and then I used spray paint uh, but then I did this stripe using the same shade of green and I attached some uh, some of the same uh, faux greenery and I'm just hoping that you know these yellows the mustards and the greens will somehow bring some fall into my booth without me doing the colors that I don't like the typical fall colors and I love how simple and quick this was next we have this beautiful white tray I love the simplicity of this it was originally wood like back here now I didn't paint the back of it because I still think this wood is beautiful and it was unnecessary to paint I did spray paint this because I find that with trays it's really important to make sure that they can really hold up and so I find that any surface that's going to take a lot of wear and tear uh, it does best for me if I spray paint them and so I did the green stripe um, this is my take on the what do you call it the the the, the is it the grain set I don't know someone tell me what do you call this stripe I see you guys do it all the time um, so my plan was to put that French country stencil in the middle of it but I really liked how nice and clean it was so if it doesn't sell this week the next week I will do that stencil in the middle but for now I'm happy with how it turned out oh I almost forgot I have this little tin here uh, it once held some tea it has some cinnamon and clove tea I enjoy drinking tea it's something we do in our culture so I always have a lot of these on hand now for this one I just uh, spray painted it and then I decoupaged with that uh, scrapbook paper that I have from Michael's and I think it's cute all right so finally look I have something that says fall it is uh what do you call this uh, uh, a fall board I use two pieces of fence board it's quite long it's about four feet tall so it won't fit in the camera frame but it just says fall and this is a stencil from how no, it's a stencil from Amazon. And I also have this one here. This one says, hello fall. This one is also about four feet tall. Now, these were the signs that I had uh, that said home about a month ago, but they didn't sell. I think it was the green paint that I used. It just wasn't vibrant enough. So I just painted over them and now they say hello fall and the other one just says fall. So I'm hoping that these will sell as well. All right guys, uh, thank you so much for kicking it with me today. I am now going to go ahead and start tagging all of these items and then get them packed and ready for tomorrow. I always pack my car the night before. So when I wake up, I don't have to wake my husband. I can just get in my car and pull out. Uh, if you guys would like to see how I pack my car and get ready for the market in a future video, let me know in the comments below so I know if it's, there's a need for it so I don't just make content that you guys don't want to see. But otherwise, thank you guys for tuning in and thank you for being with me on this journey. And I'll let you know how tomorrow's market goes. Have a good night. Bye-bye.